Hi Global Gal Pal family, so I'm taking you along with me to a little short trip to Alberta and I have my bags all set out. Let's give you a glimpse of what do I have there. Well, since I was traveling in the fall season where the weather could be a little unpredictable, I made sure to carry these recommended items. So I have my little bag all set up and we're ready to go. Got my boarding pass. Well, since I'm waiting to this time, I'm gonna catch up on some reading. I don't know if you guys have ever read this book. If you have, let me know. I'll see if I can finish it by the time this trip ends. Alrighty, so I've reached Edmonton and oh boy, it is cold here. But not too cold, it's 6 degrees outside. Oh my eyes, glasses are fogging up. So yeah, I am exhausted. I'm just gonna get some good night's sleep and then see you guys tomorrow morning. Bye! Good morning, so today is day 2. I'm just here for some breakfast right now. We're going to head down to Jasper, then go on to Athabasca Glacier for our tour, and then finally head down to Banff. I'll show you around the beautiful pictures you've seen be on the way. Make sure to book yourself a car rental ahead in time, especially if you're traveling in peak season. I cannot, cannot recommend this option enough if you want to enjoy the scenic drive through the Canadian Rockies which you will get a glimpse of shortly. We booked ours at the Edmonton Airport and these were the options that were available to us. We went with Hertz after reading some of the reviews and booked the car for two days with an intercity drop off in Calgary downtown. We're on route at the Basca and we'll just stop to stretch our legs but I have to show you the view. Amazing, right? I know. Columbia Ice Field is located at an elevation of almost 3,000 meters and is one of the largest ice fields in North American Rockies. So we've had some weird weather, rain, storms, blizzards. The last Friday we had that 90 km an hour winds on the glacier. It was just up to 100. It was insane that day. Well, thanks to the super winds, you guys cannot hear a thing I'm saying. I'm currently walking on the Athabasca Glacier, which we reached through these massive ice explorers. Unfortunately, the glacier is losing its depth at quite a rapid rate and has lost half of its volume in the past 125 years. Attention viewers! Please do not attempt to do this without wearing gloves. My hands were dead at this point. Very important spot at the very top of the mountain is what we call a hydrological apex. So that's the highest point where the ice gets created up in the ice field. And it's also a triple continental divide, which means that uh, the water up there splits off into the three oceans that border Canada, which are the Arctic, Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. That is the only confirmed triple continental divide in the world, so it's very unique and it's very important for farming and irrigation throughout Canada and a little bit in the States as well. Okay, so now we have reached the Columbia Icefield Skywalk, 
which is a glass enforced walkway with a 280 meter drop. Here you can experience the valley, waterfalls, wildlife, fossils and much more. The skywalk is scary, at least for anybody who is afraid of heights. Um, <laughs> I did not look down at all. So I just looked up, grabbed the jacket of my friend, and walked the whole path. Anybody who is a daredevil that can look down while walking, kudos to you, buddy. So now that this one is done, we are on our way to BAM. And from there will be the next day's adventure. It's a super early start today. It's at right now 6 a.m. We got about 4 a.m. to catch the sunrise at Lake Moray and the parking lots are already filling out. So hopefully we get to catch a good sunrise. To a little walk by. So this is Lake Moraine. It's a glacial fed lake. I'm not gonna go beyond this because it's quite slippery. Oh god. We're going on the rock pile too now. Lake Louise. This is Lake Louise at the back and we're gonna see if we can get our hands on one of the canoes. Oh, it seems to be quite a big line in there ahead of me. Ooh. But nonetheless it's a gorgeous gorgeous sunny day which means no more poofy jackets and here I'll show you. Here's the canoe.
so now we are on the way to Calgary. Have stopped by Banff downtown to grab some lunch and food. And uh, I found myself a tea shop. So I'm gonna try and check out that one. And uh, here's a little, it's a cute little town. You have the Canadian Rockies right behind. I don't know if you can see. Can you? There. I got myself some white tea. Here it is. Okay, this smells good. So we're in Calgary right now, uh, doing a scooty ride and on the Peace Bridge. Last step on the trip is the Heritage Park, which is Canada's largest living history museum. Here you can discover how the West was once. Down in Toronto. I don't think I can talk louder than this. If you've watched this far, I'm sure you're liking this channel. So why don't you hit that subscribe button and we will see you next week with something exciting. Until then, have a wonderful weekend everybody. Bye!